to So, an inductor is basically a device that tempor temporarily stores energy in a magnetic field. So, um, the basic diagrams for a inductor um, are this, this. And um, inductance is also measured in Henry's. Right. So one of the basic characteristics of um, electromagnetism is that when you um, have current flowing through a wire, a magnetic field is built around it. So here is a diagram of an inductor. And this will show how a magnetic field can expand and be built around an inductor. So electrons flow in the same direction and it will be built on both sides. And this um, this allows the inductor to get a very strong magnetic field. So basically an inductor is just a wire that is coiled around many times and in essence it gives off a stronger magnetic field. So when current begins to flow through an inductor this will symbolize current flowing um, it a magnetic field will expand like I said before and the importance of this is that uh, when a mag magnetic field starts to expand um, it eventually stabilizes leaving energy that is being stored in the magnetic field so all of this stuff right here is just built up and stored energy and until the um, voltage supply is turned off or the power supply is turned off there will always be energy in here so when the power supply is cut off and current stops flowing through the inductor the magnetic field that was built slowly starts to uh, dissipate. So as the, the magnetic field decreases, there is still left over mag uh, energy built into the magnetic field. So even though there's no current running through the inductor or any part of the circuit anymore, there is still energy that is being left in the magnetic field or the in the inductor until time eventually elapses uh, long enough and there's no more magnetic field or energy. So by looking at these two graphs, we can uh, Notice that when current first starts to flow through a coil, a magnetic field starts to expand 
and then slowly stabilizes, uh, and leaving energy that is being stored in the magnetic field. But when current stops flowing, the magnetic field starts to collapse, and the magnetic energy gets turned back into electrical energy. But notice that there's still some more energy left over even after uh, the current has stopped flowing. Alright, so right here we have a nail which is wrapped with a uh, copper wire like we did in um, one of our labs in class. And we have a uh, power supply right here. Um, so basically the importance of this lab is to identify that um, this this um, inductor right here because of its coiled um, wire around the nail uh, gives off a large magnet magnetic field and we can tell that by uh, using these co small compasses and noticing that uh, they will point in different directions uh, depending on the um, magnetic field so as we turn the power supply on which is uh, roughly 9 volts we'll notice that as we put these compasses closer to the nail the, they give off um, opposing um, directions uh, and this indicates that there is in fact a magnetic field around the inductor and so the importance of this is that when we turn the current off and the power supply off so there's no more current running they still hold the um, the same direction in the compasses because they're the magnetic field is still there and it's still um, storing energy but once time elapses enough the uh, compasses will go back to normal and um, there won't be any more energy being dissipated around the inductor.